This is what happens when you don't have a high chair. <laughs> He's currently having a little bit of a hard time with things, so it's um, taking a lot of deep breaths. It's, it's helping me right now. It's also quite tricky sometimes when you're sleeping in like residential areas. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go now. You're dipping your orange in there, yum. Right. You want to get it out? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are in a pretty beautiful spot. Taylor's looking at me as if I'm crazy. <laughs> we found this. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, you threw the orange on the ground. It's okay, we'll pick it up later. So today we're in this super beautiful spot. We thought it would be a great chance to show you guys what a typical day in the life of our van life looks like in our bus home. Um, so yeah, we are currently in New South Wales in Australia. So we're um, just north of Coffs Harbour and it's funny how we found this beautiful lake. The water is super low tide right now, but it'll come in soon. We were at another beach about five minutes away from here and we never would have known about this area, but we were at a playground and we started talking to another mum and um, grandma and their kids. Tao, are you getting the orange? Good boy. And they told us about this beautiful spot and it's so amazing. We'll show you around in a little bit. But yeah, the beach is just over there and then it's got this beautiful inlet. Is it an inlet? Well, it's a river. A river. It's like a river mouth. A s but like a salt water river. Yeah, a river mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Most rivers are salt water at the end of them when they get to the ocean. Oh, whatever. <laughs> So we're currently just making some fresh OJ because we have quite a few oranges that need using. And yeah, our bus is just there. I also thought that I would take today as an opportunity to talk to you guys what it's like sleeping in a bus home with our toddler who is still breastfeeding and we co-sleep and yeah, it's a small space, it's a tiny house. And because we're currently going through like a little stage of things, I thought it would be a good time to talk to you guys about that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to talk to you a little bit later on about what it's like sleeping in a bus with a toddler. And for right now, we're just going to have some orange juice and then we're going to make some breakfast and then we'll show you what we get up to for the rest of the day. You dancing? <laughs> That's my one. Yeah, but I want to put some ice in it. Ah, oh, I have it just like this. God, he just like gulps it. How is that? So I thought I would come inside and get dressed for the day and Tello, he's currently having a little bit of a hard time with things so it's um, taking a lot of deep breaths, it's, it's helping me right now, I know it's really hot, um, but yeah, he had befriended someone on the beach just now and, um, sorry not on the beach, just like out here in the grassy area and he was trying to take this lady's book that she was reading and he had really super dirty hands. Have you got him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just trying to explain to him 
I know that he doesn't fully understand, but I was trying to explain to him that he can't take this lady's book, it doesn't belong to him. It just caused a meltdown. Uh, so then I came inside to try and give him my journal to do some drawing in because he's been liking that and we only have like a pen for him to draw with so if anyone knows of like great like pencils to get for toddlers that aren't harmful and that are natural I don't know if that's even a thing I'm sure it is um, and some like coloring books or yeah comment below or tell me what you do with your kids tallows are one and a half and yeah he's definitely I'd love to get him some like drawing stuff and his own little books but anyway yeah um <laughs> he's been a little bit he's just going through some stuff and it's yeah we're just dealing with it as best as we can and so that's what today's kind of gonna be like I just want to be real with you guys and share the journey of having a toddler um, you know he would be going through this even if we weren't living in a tiny space so I just thought I'd check in and tell you guys about that because that's just what's happened over the past half hour but now the boys are back outside and um, we're just drinking our orange juice and I think I'm gonna make some pancakes because I'm craving pancakes so Zach might take tallow to the water and I'll do some cooking the boys are gonna go play in the water and I just have to show you Tallow's new swimwear. <laughs> There's Tal and Zach playing with some little friends they've made. I am using a pot as a bowl because we do not have a mixing bowl at the moment. Too hot for clothes right now, and the boys. Just, oh, Tello's making a run for it. Oh, he's so sweet. Just having a rinse off after the ocean. These pancakes are almost done, so we've got one more going. Oh, I have to flip it. Can I do it whilst I'm holding the camera? Yes, I can. Uh, so we've got a whole batch here yummy pancakes we've got some grated apple some banana I'm gonna put on and some chia pudding left over from yesterday hemp seeds coconut yogurt and we've got some cacao nibs in here these are just cookies that I made yesterday and yeah a little bit of cacao nibs left over that's what's gonna go in our pancakes and also I Thought I would mention to you guys that if you would like to know how to make these pancakes it is in it'll be in the video previous two previous from this one so not the one before this one but the one before that and it's called something like van life vegan easy vegan van life meals on the what's it called <laughs> anyway you'll see it. it's the only um, like recent recipe thing that I have up, video that I have up. So it's it's called like Van Life, three easy vegan Van Life breakfast ideas or something like that. These pancakes are only two ingredients. They're just buckwheat, flour and water. And they're so yum. So I'm gonna put the toppings on. And then we're gonna get out of this bus and into the fresh air and eat them. There's one. Damn. Don't let him go. Look at that! Yeah, but I only we didn't have that much left. So. Hey, Bob, this one. Mm. Are we gonna go swimming? Are we gonna leave this mess to Papa?
So we've just gotten back from a swim and it got a little bit hard for me to film. The tide started like coming back up and the camera was on the tail and then Tello had a bit of a fall in the water. Not a fall but he just, he like gulped some water and snorted up his nose and he got really upset. So yeah, we've come back now and we've just had showers in the outdoor showers at the beach and with, there's this beautiful caravan park right here. And by the way, thanks Zach for making that clean. There's this beautiful caravan park here. It's so beautiful. Backs onto the river. And we don't usually like stay at caravan parks, but I would pay to stay at this one because it's so amazing. But anyway, we're gonna go. We need to um, wash Tallow's nappy inserts and then hang them out on the bus, like put up the line and hang them out. So we're gonna go ask them if we can use the caravan washing machines. We're gonna get Tallow in the sling. I'm gonna get dressed and we're going to go for a little walk to the caravan park. Oh. Oh. What else? Oh. Okay, let's get this sling on. All right, Chow. We're going to go in the sling. And we're going to go walking together. <laughs> I know it's hard to understand sometimes. We've got our nappies. We've got the wallet. Is that all? Oh, yeah, I think that's all. Let's do it. Oh, tired boy. Okay, that was a massive fail. <laughs> um, so, are you gonna read some books? It's a good idea. So we have to go into town anyway to go to the shops and get some stuff. So we'll just go do the laundry there. Guys, just having the best time. What's the book? We're just gonna go into town in a little bit and we'll put just his nappies on because we don't have enough clothes to wash at current. And um, yeah, so we'll go do that. But right now we're just gonna try and hang out in the bus and let Tallo relax because it's his nap time-ish. So once he wakes up from his nap, whenever he, if he falls asleep, whenever he falls asleep, then we'll go and do those things. Are you gonna have a nap? More books? More books. More books? Yeah. Are you gonna get more books down? I'm not really sure about the sliding. Okay. Oops. So we're gonna, or I'm gonna talk about what it's like sleeping in a tiny home or in a van or in a bus with our toddler. So for those of you who don't know, Tello is one and a half and he, we co-sleep. So we've got a king bed in our bus. We've co-slept from day one and we also Tello breastfeeds and he's still feeding quite a lot at night as well as right now he has he's getting a few more teeth coming through so it's been a little bit um the reason why we thought we'd we'd talk about this today is because we've had a couple of like rough nights and uh tello is feeding at night more than he usually does which you know leads me to getting frustrated in the night we're just going to talk about what it's like sleeping in a small space with the toddler. First of all, it was really important to us to get a king bed for our tiny home. Um, that was like a priority and that <laughs> Tello's just like on his bike at the front of the bus, like in the bus on his bike. 
at the seats. What are you doing to <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> you climbing. <laughs> He's gonna be a rock climber. <laughs> Whoop, be careful bub. The bike's gonna towel. <laughs> you such a daredevil. I don't believe you. What are you doing? You're on the dashboard. Okay, oh my gosh. So getting a king bed for us was a massive priority and we had a queen back where we were living in the Sunshine Coast and it was getting to the point where, yeah, we were needing a bigger bed, but it, at least at the Sunshine Coast when we had the Queen, there was the option to, you know, we lived in a house, there was a spare room with another bed, um, and there was the couch. So if one of us needed to remove ourselves to sleep properly or better or to have a break, then that was available to us. Obviously that's not the case when you're in a van or a bus. And like, we haven't felt like we've needed to do that in a really long time. However, the past like week or two, not every single night, but a few nights out of those, out of the past two weeks, we've had some moments. <laughs> well, it's just, it's, um, you know, like when it gets to the stage where Nat has been feeding pretty much all night. If we're in a house, then like I can just, I can take him out, out of the room and I can walk around the house with him until he falls back asleep. Um, but that's not really the case here. In here, I can't do that because there's like nowhere to walk and I can't stand up properly. Mm. Yeah, because I'm too tall. tall. You know, every time he feeds at night, he doesn't. A lot of the time, he's doing it for comfort, right? Yeah. I think and so. also, <laughs> like, he's teething a lot. So we totally get it and we get that he needs to do that quite a lot. But there's times when that is completely over it and I need to take him. And so there's probably going to be points where. I put the sling on and take him out in, in the middle of the night. Yeah. Take him outside. It's also quite tricky sometimes when you're sleeping in like residential areas. Yeah. And Cause if you I kind of you don't want to make a scene. Yeah. And if I don't give him the boob for like when he's teething or whatever, if I'm like half asleep or I just kind of let him cry for, you know, 20 seconds, if that, he will start getting, if, if it is from teething, that's when he gets really agitated and that's when you know, because he's obviously like, it's a, it's a painful cry that he's crying. Um, and so it's quite loud. And when you, when we're in like residential areas, which is mainly where we sleep in the bus, it's a little bit like, oh shit, like, you know, we don't, we don't want to cause any drama. We don't want anyone to wake up from him. He still has quite a bit of milk. So I get that he, you know, and sometimes he like really gulps and he's, yeah. So anyway, I get it. And this is the way that we've chosen to parent and the breastfeeding journey that we are on. Um, but yeah, that obviously when you're transitioning living in a bus, coming from like living in a home, that part of it when you've got a toddler or baby or child is um it's yeah it's just another part it's something else to deal with and so yeah we just wanted to share that with you guys and um surprisingly like i think it was like two nights ago i we woke up in the morning we woke up in the morning and zach took tello for like an hour and i slept in for an hour but usually that doesn't happen usually like we both get up and we're fine and we feel great anyway like even if we've had little sleep we'll just sleep when tello has his daytime nap um but that morning i was like particularly tired so anyway it's all a part of the journey and the king bed definitely helps coming from a queen to tra and transitioning to a king is just like <gasps> Amazing, like when you've got a baby that starfishes all yeah. over the bed. Yeah, <laughs> hey? yeah. It's all part of the journey, but it, yeah. I guess it just makes it. Um, I don't know. Does it like make it a little bit more? I guess like everything's just everything's in your face. Like everything's right there. You know, like yeah. our, our home is eight square meters, and it's like you just. You can't escape anything. Yeah. I'm sure that like every breastfeeding mother ever can relate to this, even if you don't <laughs> live in a small space. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah, that's 
that's kind of all we have to say or all I have to say about that. Also, like, <laughs> it's quite, it's funny now. It's not funny in the middle of the night. Yeah. But it's funny now to you look back on the night and you're like, wow, we, like, we turn into different <laughs> beings in the middle of the night. Like, when we're half asleep, you know, like, the noise... <laughs> <laughs> the noises that come out of Nat's mouth. <laughs> and I totally get it. And like, you know, my, you know, I wake up and I'm like half asleep and I'm immediately just grumpy because, you know, that's just... What happens when you get woken up? What happens? <laughs> when he says the noises that I make, like that sounds like I'm like an animal or something. <laughs> what are you he doing? Just, he's referring to like the, you know, the frustration that I feel and so that frustration <laughs> I don't know what else to do with it, but to like she's, you bring it out it with out. noises, yeah. yeah. And so, I, obviously, like that's my own thing. I could deal with it better. I could like well, not just, even like you I, don't need to deal with it better. Like it's <laughs> oh, who's that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to the anyway, I guess it's super important because of because everything's so heightened in such a small space and when we have tough nights it's really important for us in the morning to like kind of check in and really like start the day off on a good note yeah because we and like recap like what you know like maybe talk about what happened in the night um because otherwise you know when you're living on top of each other <laughs> he's dying to the camera Ta. um yeah and like uh, no, don't know, forgot. <laughs> you don't even remember half the time what you did. And then he's like, oh, do you remember when you like threatened to like divorce me or something in the middle of the night? Or I don't know, like, <laughs> do you remember when you like yelled at me? I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I don't remember that at all. Uh, and trust me, we don't laugh like this. Yeah, <laughs> in the middle of the night. In the time. We want to be real about what van life is like and we want to share our experiences and this especially for people with little kids that are wanting to yeah. do it you know like it's not uh, you know like someone said to us yesterday like oh you've got you've got such a cruisy life like it's so cool and we're like well yeah like it is and it is super cruisy and we're in and love with this life but like it's, it's not, not always cruisy it's not always perfect it's you know and it like we go through things every single day and that's yeah. it <laughs> and we'd be going we'd be going through it at home as well so yeah. it's just the, it's just what you prefer to how you prefer to live we're gonna get back to the vlog so we'll probably put Taylor to sleep now and then we'll show you what we get up to later Starving because we find it really hard to cook in the bus when Tallow's sleeping because we just really don't want to wake him. And the Tallow is currently still waking up on Zach's shoulder. You can't really see them, just their silhouettes, but Tal woke up a little bit sad. And so Zach's gone and put him on his shoulder. Zach just went for a little walk and for a swim and he said he found this really beautiful um, secret spot so I think we're gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna go over there apparently it's out of the wind and it's just like lush So 
yeah, what are you cooking tonight? Uh, nachos. We've got some salsa here, corn chips over here, and then we've got a guac and some leftover cashew cheese. <laughs> Is it good? Thanks, darling. I'm alright, you too. I know, but it was mainly you. And just sitting down yep. to eat dinner. Tello's just like going for it. So. Yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here. We're gonna enjoy our dinner and then we might go for a little walk. What are you doing? Do the dance. This is what happens when you don't have a high chair. <laughs> is it yum? You want more? Good boy. So it's the next morning now and I forgot to end the vlog yesterday which I've been doing a lot recently. This vlog was quite a long one, it's much longer than like my usual videos but yeah we had a lot to say and we wanted to get that out and yeah it's hard to fit a whole day in your life in just a short video so yeah that's what we've ended up with so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up if you did because it really helps support our youtube channel don't forget to subscribe so you can continue to follow along with what goes on in our bus home and we'll see you in the next video bye doesn't feel like it was long ago we were head over heels in love thought it lasts forever but somehow we got lost